What's happening, my beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of PR Sense, where we review fragrances for the common man. Anyway, today uh, is part two of uh, spring summer fragrances, and I am going to be reviewing five for you today uh, on top of the six that I reviewed on Friday. So hang in there, and we will see you in a bit. Take care. So today we're going to be reviewing five spring summer fragrances um, and I've got a little mix here for you again not very expensive so hopefully if you guys go to any of the rack stores or you go to any of the discount uh, websites fragrance net fragrance USA uh, triple traders all of those you'll be able to find them really cheap as well these are Really nice, uh, some more than others, really nice fragrances to wear in the spring and summer, and they're not going to break the bank. So that's my goal, is to give you guys the hints on how to buy some nice fragrances um, that are not going to, you know, put a big hole in your wallet. So let's start with the first one. The first one we have is Jimmy Choo Man Blue. Now, again, as you guys know me, uh, I'm old, so I have notes, but anyway... Uh, so Jimmy Choo Man uh, Blue was, is a flanker of Jimmy Choo Man, uh, and there's a whole bunch of other flankers as well. Uh, it was created by Nathalie Lorson in 2018. It's an aromatic, woody, vanilla, lavender kind of fragrance, leathery a little bit too. Um, but when they say leather, it's not that leathery. It's, it's, it's very um, sweet in the opening no the top is lavender black pepper clary sage and bergamot the mids are ambergris which is just another fancy word for ambroxan and uh, leather cypress apple pineapple uh, the base is vanilla sandalwood vetiver and patchouli like i said it has a sweet opening so you get that lavender um, and that bergamot uh, it starts to dry down to a very vanilla vanilla kind of scent and so it, it's it's a nice one it's not going to be a wow factor out there you you may get a compliment if it lasts that long because it's projection sillage are very moderate all right this is not a killer but it's for the price uh nowadays it's it's not that bad you'll probably get it for less than forty dollars uh, when it first came out it was really expensive at Dillard's and all of those places, it was pretty expensive, but it's it's gone down. It's pleasant, all right? It's not unique. It's made for the day or night, and I think the night part is that kind of sandalwood scent that it has um, and vanilla scent that it has. Its sillage is okay. Meant more for males than females, so, you know, do with that what you will. If you're a female you wanna wear it, wear it. Who cares? Anyway, so that's uh, Jimmy Choo Man Blue. And the bottle looks like this. The atomizer is nice, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a very lavendery kind of scent at the very beginning, um, but it dries down fairly quickly um, and it dries down to that van vanilla scent. So um, it's a nice one. Don't spend a lot of money on it. I know that Jimmy Choo, like a dealer's, is really expensive. Don't do it. Get it at a discounter or some other place. I, you can't... It, I'll be surprised if you can find this at, you know, uh, Burlington or Ma Ross or um, TJ Maxx. But uh, if you find it and you find it cheap, get it. Because it's, it's a nice go-to, after-the-gym, casual t-shirt kind of wear. It's nice for that, so do that. Uh, the second one is another Jimmy Choo. I've got two Jimmy Choo's in this one, and it is Jimmy Choo Man Ice. I love the bottle. The bottle is so cool on this one. Uh, and Jimmy Choo Man Ice was created in 2017. Its uh, nose behind this one was Michael Almeric. It's around $25, you can get that, so it's not too bad either. Um, its top notes are citron, bergamot, mandarin orange. Its middle notes are apple, cedar, vetiver, and patchouli. Its base notes are ambroxan, musk, and moss. It is supposed to be a very close scent to 
Dior Homme Cologne, which is about $70 plus. Um, again, it's not a killer when it comes to performance, longevity, sillage. They're all moderate. They'll last you on your skin for maybe two to three hours and that's it. Sillage is probably not that long either. Um, it, at the beginning, you get a very citron bergamot scent in that. Um, and within 10 minutes, it goes down to the mid uh, and you'll get that apple patchouli kind of scent. And then it goes down to the ambroxan and it gets very earthy after that. Uh, it's a nice scent. It's sweet. So, you know, it's, it's, it's got a woody base uh, dried down. But again, it's a nice scent in the atomizer. Yeah, it smells nice. It's, it's very mild. It's a mild scent. And you might have to overspray a little bit with this one uh, and take it with you just to, you know, keep it going. But again, yeah, you get that. You definitely get that citron scent right off the bat. Um, but for t-shirt, jeans, nice one to wear. Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Now, the next one is one of my favorites that I got for a ridiculously low price. Um, this one usually will cost you about $45 and it's Versace Man Eau Fresh. Now, the Eau Fresh part stands for <clears throat> fresh water. And this is usually about $40, $45 for a bottle. I got this bottle for about $6.99 plus the shower gel plus the aftershave bomb. Um, I got it at Burlington for a ridiculous price. Um, but it is, oh, it's so nice. It's very citrusy, uh, very aromatic. Top notes are lemon, bergamot, carambola, which is star fruit. And I think that's where that sweetness comes in. Uh, cardamom. Its middle notes are cedar, tarragon, pepper, and sage. And its base notes are musk, woodsy notes, amber, and sycamore. It's slicey, slightly spicy. Um, so you get that, that lemon and that bergamot, and then right with it, you get a spicy scent as well. Uh, some people say it's a little bit like uh, Versace Eros. Um, it is very good for spring and summer days. Um, it's a nice casual wear as well. Do not overspray this thing. It is strong. It's got a very good sillage, very good performance. Um, after a while, it becomes more of a skin scent when it comes to pro projection, but uh, it's strong. Yeah, you get that lemon and that bergamot. You get a little bit of the cedar in there as well, so it becomes a little woody afterwards. Um, but it's a nice scent. Uh, definitely well, well worth the price if you can find it really cheap. Like a, And you can find these as well at uh, Burlington's and TJ Maxx for the most part. Uh, but Versace Mano Fresh, I would definitely give it a shot if you see it out there and you see it at a really good price. Get that. The fourth one, I've got my notes here, is this one. This crazy looking bottle. Perry Ellis Red. Three, Perry Ellis 360 Red. Uh, Perry Ellis 360 makes uh, quite a few. They've got Perry Ellis 360 White. Um, they've got Perry Ellis 360 Black, I believe. And then they've got Perry Ellis 360 Red. Now this is talked about a lot in the fragrance world because this smells 95% close to uh, Aqua de Jo. And Aqua de Jo goes for probably about $70 or more this, less than $20, um, and it is synthetic, yes, but very aromatic. Uh, its top notes are lime, bergamot, cinnamon, orange, cloves, nutmeg. Its middle notes are lavender, coriander. Its base notes are musk, patchouli, uh, sandalwood, red cedar, vetiver, and oak moss. Uh, you definitely get that lime when you smell it. It smells so much like Aqua de Jo, you would not believe it. Um, yeah, it's a great summer scent. And it lasts for a little bit. I've gotten a couple of compliments on this one. Because it does last for, for a while. And it does smell exactly like Aqua de Jo for, I'd say, one-fourth of the price. Uh, you, like I said, you can probably find this one for about $20 or less at Burlington. Uh, Ross has it as well. 
So if you see this one, pick it up because it's, it's a nice summer casual scent as well. Uh, it projects, from what I've read, it even projects better than Aqua de Jo. Um, so uh, its sillage is moderate, its longevity is moderate, and um, you know, you get that lime and that patchouli gets a little musky towards the dry down. Uh, so again, it was created in 2003 by Jean-Louis Grabi. I don't know if you guys care about who creates these things. If you don't, let me know. Um, you know, I'm trying to tweak my videos, so things that you guys don't care about. I know a lot of the reviewers, they show you the box, they show you the, the batch code, they show you the presentation, and uh, they talk about who makes it and all these other things. I don't know if you guys care about that. So if you don't, let me know, um, you know, because that cuts down some of that time. Uh, I am new, and that's, that's who I'm catering to is the new guys here. Uh, so the presentation is nice. I love the presentations of my Middle Eastern ones. When they come in a box, I mean, the box is beautiful and everything else, and I tend to keep the boxes. Rasasi's Layukawam is a wooden box, and it's beautiful, so I have that on my mantle um, because I love it so much. But some guys don't care about that, and in the end, the box could look crappy, but the scent, the juice itself is absolutely awesome. So do you care? I don't know. Just leave me a comment on that one. Now the last one we're going to talk about is this one, <clears throat> which is one of my favorites. I think it's going to be my scent of the day today because, uh, yeah, it is a little warm. It's probably around 65 degrees out there, but the wind is blowing about... God, I don't even know, maybe 60 miles an hour. Um, so that's why I didn't do it outside like I did Fridays. But this one is Nautica Voyage, okay? Nautica Voyage is talked about a lot. It's a, it's a much loved uh, fragrance. Juice is blue, bottle is really, really heavy. Uh, you can get Nautica Voyage for probably about $20 at the rack stores or less if you're lucky. Um, atomizer, nice. The scent is very, very green. Like you get, it's just green apple. It's the green apple, which is one of the top notes. Um, and you definitely get that. Now, from what I've read, uh, Nautica Voyage came out in 20, 2006 and it's been reformulated. So it's not as strong as the original version, but it's still very, very good. And it has a lot, a lot of flankers as well. Um, it's top notes again, green apple, green leaves, and you get that green right off the bat. You definitely get that green. Uh, middle notes of lotus and mimosa, and the base notes of musk, cedar, oak moss, and amber. So you get a very fresh fragrance, a very clean fragrance, a very aquatic fragrance, and towards the dry down, it becomes like a greenish, musky scent. It's very versatile, so you can use this uh, year round. I would say it's meant more for like spring, summer, fall. Um, I tend not to wear it during the winter uh, because it's just, it's very, very fresh. And during the winter, I like wearing musky, dark, uh, oud type fragrances. But during the summer and spring, this is a no brainer. Uh, it's, it's just so good, Nautica Voyage. So I hope this, uh, these, this review helped you guys. If you see these at the rack stores, go get them. Um, for a newbie like me, I, I've gotten them all, as you can see, and I love them. I really do, and, and I'm looking forward to wearing them during the spring and summer. Uh, if you like this video, do me a big favor and subscribe. Hit that like button, and uh, I'm going to do a new video soon where I try to teach you uh, about colognes, about perfumes. You know, uh, what does cologne mean? What does eau fresh mean? What does uh, eau de toilette versus eau de parfum mean? Um, you know, what's the dry down, what's the, the top notes, what's the base notes kind of thing. So I'm going to do a, a video on that and I hope that that probably would help you guys get, you know, a little better when you're talking about colognes. You know, the one thing that I can tell you is when you're wearing cologne, know what you're wearing. Because if somebody says, oh, that's awesome, what are you wearing? Do you want to sit there and go, oh, I don't know. So you don't want to do that. You want to say, be able to right off the bat. I'm wearing Nautica Voyage. I'm wearing, uh, you know, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Choo, uh, something. So always know the, the, the fragrance that you're wearing. So if somebody asks you, you know what to tell them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, 
Be safe, be loved, and I will talk to you later. Take care.